Hey, you're back with Angela and Jason in our home buying tips. Uh, we've discussed pre-approval, how that should be the first step before you go out and, and look at homes with Angela. But what happens if you go for that pre-approval and you're not ready yet? Your credit score is maybe too low or your income is something that's not usable or you don't have enough assets for buying a house. Right, and from the realtor perspective, it's really tough because people are like, hey, I'm not ready to buy, but I wanna look at a home. Well, again, I don't want to be a dream killer and show you homes you can't get pre-approved for, but it also isn't really fair, one, to the realtor because we're running around showing you houses. It's not fair to you because it's wasting your time as well as the sellers. Um, they're spending hours preparing their home to show you and you're, you can't buy it yet. So, so there are steps that we can help you with to get there. And what does that first step look like? It depends. I mean, so a lot of times what we see is credit score. You know, that's a big driving force. Typically, you need to be in the 600s to qualify for most programs. You can go into the 500s, but I will forewarn you, if a lender tells you they can pre-approve you with a 500 credit score, run away because the program... Your payment's a lot more. <laughs> well, and honestly, it's just not realistic. Yeah. There are some programs like FHA that say you could have a whatever credit score, but no wonder, ideally or not ideally, is going to approve you for it. They might say, okay, but... So anyways, to answer your question, the steps are we're going to try to rebuild that credit. What's what's hurting it? A lot of times what we see is just a lack of credit, what we call young credit. Mm -hmm. And that doesn't mean you're a young person. You just don't have a lot of credit. And we, we put them on a few different programs, like a credit builder, trying to get those credit scores up. Um, or more commonly, what we see is someone just doesn't have assets right now. And they're looking for a first-time homebuyer program or a grant. There's just not a lot out there. Or they want to use a seller concession, which you can speak to in West Michigan. This is really hard to get. It's very unrealistic right now. And... And in West Michigan, asking for concessions towards closing or even, I mean, FHA can be a great product, but if you're up against multiple offers, that's not necessarily putting you in a winning position. And that's our goal is, is as a team to put you as the buyer in a winning position to get the house, house that you want. Right. So tune in for more tips from Angela and Jason on how to buy your first home. I don't want to say first home.